everyone, Rubber Mold Man here. I wanted to do a quick video that uh, will actually show me making the mold release to use on latex rubber molds. I've touched on it before in the past in videos, but I still get a lot of people questioning exactly how to make the uh, mold release, so I'm going to actually show you exactly what I do. And uh, mold release, of course, is for the latex rubber. Uh, this is for latex rubber molds. We're not talking about silicone rubber, latex rubber. And you do need a mold release because if you pour liquid cement into this without any type of mold release, you will more than likely not be able to remove this. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's very simple. Uh, there's only two ingredients. The first is castor oil, and I'm going to show you there, castor oil, because I've had people get that confused with a motor oil named castrol. This is castor, not castrol. This is not petroleum based. This is from a bean, the castor bean that makes this. It is perfectly safe. It's actually meant for use in the human body. Where to find this? Uh, you can actually get it at Walmart stores in the U.S. Most um, drug stores will have it. Just look in the uh, stomach ailment aisle where they'll have like laxatives and that because that's usually what people use it for. But it's perfectly safe for the body. You can use it as a moisturizer, whatever. Very cheap. This is about $2.40 for this bottle. This will make a lot of mold release. The other thing you need is rubbing alcohol and I get the 70% rubbing alcohol there's also 90% I prefer the 70% a little cheaper works just as fine uh, this you can find usually in the first aid department of most stores uh, just look by where they have the uh, peroxide you usually find rubbing alcohol there then all you're gonna need is a standard little spray bottle so here's what you do you only need a little bit of castor oil now I don't actually measure it out you know I've talked in the past about well it's one part castor oil there's so many parts this I'm just going to show you how I do it uh, basically one cap full of castor oil there we go and it's very thick and we're going to put that in the bottle just let it drain in there so to one cap full of castor oil we are now going to add let's see this is a brand new full bottle here I'm going to add Maybe not quite half of this. We'll just put that in there. See how we're looking. Maybe a little more. Okay, so maybe about a third of this bottle. And this particular one is 32 fluid ounces, by the way. Um, and again, I'm just eyeballing. I never take the time to measure. It doesn't seem to matter as long as you get it. Obviously, the idea here is that the castor oil is very diluted with the alcohol. And then at that point you just seal up your spray bottle, give it a good shake, and you're ready to use it. it. Takes a second, there it goes. And then you just spray the entire inside of the uh, latex rubber, making sure to get the outer edge as well. Get it good and coated with that mold release. What I like to do then is let it sit for a couple minutes and then I'll sometimes even take it and spray it out with water or if I have a bucket of water I'll just dip it in and that'll just get the excess mold release. Um, but again, perfectly safe. You do not have to worry about this. No weird chemicals or anything. It's perfectly safe to get on your body. In fact, it's actually healthy for your skin. Um, so that's really it. That's all you need to make a mold release for rubber molds. Again, do not use anything that is petroleum based. And remember, a lot of soaps have petroleum in them. That will destroy latex rubber over time. Uh, this is not petroleum based. Castor oil, plant based. Rubbing alcohol dilutes it. Makes a perfect mold release for latex rubber molds. So I hope this clarifies it uh, once and for all. Uh, I'll have some more videos coming up soon with some painting uh, tips uh, like I've been promising. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to check out my website, rubbermoldman.com, and uh, find me on Facebook at Rubber Mold Man. Until next time, we'll see you soon.